welcome us all to this glorious Sunday service, the very first Sunday in the month of May 2023. The Lord Almighty that has made us to see today, he will make us to see the end of this year in the name of Jesus. The sermon that I will be speaking on today is what I have titled as the power of the tongue. The power of the tongue. The power of the tongue. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 2. Hallelujah. She needs a mic. Should I read it again? Yes. Okay. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge the aright. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright. But the mouth of the fools poureth out foolishness. But the mouth of fools poureth out Foolishness. Hallelujah. Talulibah can you over? I want a lot more low immorality. I want a lot more low immorality. On low immorality. Should one know she will be a more good fair way. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. And why she will be. I'm a gufer weary. This is one of the reasons why I try to stay away from Yoruba. So that I will not be saying something different from what, what is written. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge. But the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. Also in First Peter chapter 3, verse 10. First Peter chapter 3, and from verse 10. For he that will love life, for he that will love life, and see good days, and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil, let him refrain his tongue from evil, and his lips that they speak no guile, and his lips that they speak no guile. Hallelujah. For he that will love life, and we see good days. Let that person refrain his tongue from evil. And his lips that they speak no guile. Hallelujah. From the word of God, it is very clear that every destiny is at the mercy of his tongue. Every destiny is at the mercy of the tongue. In Proverbs 18, verse 21. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. That they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. For they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And to sin low. And it over sin low. Yo jerere. Yo jerere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This Bible is saying that if anybody is going to experience death, it is right in his tongue. And if anybody is going to enjoy life in this world, it is wrapped up in what he says in his tongue or her tongue. Hallelujah. Every destiny is at the mercy of the tongue. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 20. Proverbs 18 verse 20. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. And with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. And with the increase of his lips shall he 
be filled. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. It is the tongue that will determine how well you and I live or otherwise. It is your tongue and it is my tongue. Remember, we are created in the image and the likeness of God. In the book of Genesis chapter 126, God said it very clearly that let us create man in our image and our likeness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So which means that we are supposed to operate the way God operates. We are created after God. The way God functions. The way God operates. That is the way we have been programmed to operate. If we operate outside of the way that we have been created, then we are, we are romancing evil. And this shall not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. In how, how does God operate? How does God operate? In Genesis, that same Genesis that we, we, I just quoted, uh, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 4, we saw how God operates. Genesis chapter 1? In, in the, the beginning. beginning. In the beginning. Yes? God created the heaven and the earth. God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form. The earth that we are seeing today was without form. And void. It was void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, And God said, Let there be light. Let there be light. And there was light. And there was light. And God saw the light. And God saw the light. That it was good. That it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did we see how God operates? The Bible says that this earth was without form. Darkness was on the face of the deep. God used his eyes to see darkness. But what did he utter from his mouth? Let there be light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God did not use his mouth to, to say what he see. He uses his mouth to say what he desire. God creates what he desire by what he says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He saw darkness, but he said, let there be light. Because it is light that he wants. He doesn't want the darkness that he's seeing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is what God wants that he say. He does not say what he sees. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job 22 verse 29, what did he tell us with the children of God? He said, when men are cast down, then thou shalt say what? There is a lifting up. Hallelujah. That means you are not permitted to talk the way the word talk. Mm -hmm. You are not permitted. In fact, the issue is not even permission. It is an, is an issue of creation. How you are created. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, which we just read, it said, God created us in his image and his likeness. That means any way God operates and functions, that is the way we have been created. So, it's just like buying a product in the market. You go to a superstore, or you go to Walmart, or you go somewhere, and you buy a product. And in the manual, it was clearly stated that this is the way the product should operate. But you, you are now feeling like, no, I can cooperate by now. They can share in another way, cooperate in another way. Will the product work? Even if it works, is it going to work optimally? And at the end of the day, you may even damage the product because you are not following the manufacturer's manual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have been created in the image and the likeness of God. We are supposed to talk the way God talks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 10. Isaiah 55 verse 10, 10 and 11 actually. We see that there is power in the words of God. 
For as the rain cometh down, for as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth, and, and maketh it to bring forth and bore, and it may give seed to the sower, that it may give seed to the, the sower, to the eater, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be. So shall my word be. That goeth forth out of my mouth. That goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. They shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that. But it shall accomplish that. Which I please. Which I please. And it shall prosper. And it shall prosper. In the thing. In the thing. Where to I send Hallelujah. God said his word is not permitted to return to him void. God said his word is not permitted. They don't even have the capacity. The issue is not even permission. There is no capacity within the word to come back without being fulfilled. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 40 verse 8, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 also tells us the validity of the word of God. Isaiah 40 verse 8. It, the grass the flower faded. The flower faded. But the word of our God shall stand forever. Hallelujah. Yes. It's an honor. Yes. She borrowed a long. Or a long. Yo drew like light. Yo drew like light. Hallelujah. The grass may wither. The flower may fade. When it is time for the fall now, all these beautiful grasses, leaves that are springing up now, they will begin to wither during fall. Flowers, beautiful flowers that we use to learn to do landscaping at the entrance of our house and at the, below, uh, at, 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 the, at the back, they will start to fade. But the Bible says the word of God standeth forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be careful of what you say with your mouth. Because what you say determines what you get. Be careful of what you say with your mouth. Be careful of what you utter from your mouth. Because what you say concerning your life determines what becomes your lot. Our tongue shall be a proponent of success and destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Many destinies have crashed due to wrong usage of tongue. Many destinies in this world have been crashed because of what? Wrong usage of the tongue. An example of this in the book of Numbers chapter 13. We know the story very well. When the children of Israel was about, when they were about getting to Canaan, 12 people were appointed to go and spy out the land. 12 spies were sent out to look at the land. We saw that interesting account in Numbers chapter 13. So, when they got there, they said that they saw the land flowing with milk and honey. But they cannot take it. They came back with that report. That where we saw the land, it is flowing with milk and honey. It's a great land. It's a land without scarceness. It's a land that is so beautiful. But, I, but we don't think we can take it. And they told him. And they told him. And said. And said. We came unto the land where Tato. Yes. Thou sendest us. Yes. And surely. Yes. It flowed with milk and honey. It flowed with milk and honey. And surely. this is the fruit of it. Yes. They even brought a sample of that land. As part of their report. But they now said. We cannot enter that land. Because we saw giants. In that land. And we were like what? Grasshoppers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God heard them, God was so angry. In the book of that same Numbers chapter, Numbers chapter 14 verse 28, God responded to that thing that they have said. Say unto them. Yes. As truly I live. As tru God is now vowing. When he heard, when he listened to these 12 spies, when they came back, God was God vowed. He said, as truly as I live. Yes? Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. As ye have spoken in my ears. As ye have spoken in my ears. So will I do to you. So will I do unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What does that mean? They have said that they cannot enter. God has stamped it. Yes, you have said it with your mouth that you can't enter. So you will not enter. It's other people that will enter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be careful 
of what you say with your mouth. These people's destiny got crashed because of wrong usage of their mouth. Hallelujah. In the book of James chapter 1 verse 26. James chapter 1 verse 26. What did the Bible say? If any man among you if any man among you seems to be religious, seems to be religious, and bridle not his tongue, and bridle not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Hallelujah. Beni keni baro pe o un si olorun eni to baro pe o un si olorun ngati koko ahun re ni ijanu ti koko ahun re ni ijanu ngati o nto kara re je yes isi oluwa re asan ni the bible says the religion is in vain our service shall not be in vain in the name of jesus if we will ever enter into our inheritance in god if we will ever achieve destiny that the lord has created for each and every one of us our tongue is what will determine whether we will enter or not. Mm -hmm. The way we talk is what will determine whether we will enter or not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It still does not change the fact that God has destined us to be great. The people that brought the wrong report, as God not destined them to enter the, the Canaan land, the land, God destined them to enter, but they have used their mouth to say they cannot enter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That means your tongue and my tongue is what truly determines what happens to us. Your tongue and my tongue is what truly determines what God does with us at the end of the day. Your destiny and my destiny is at the mercy of what we say with our tongue. May we use our tongue aright in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the book of Luke chapter 21 from verse 12. Luke chapter 21 but before all this, but before all this, they shall lay their hands on you. They shall lay their hands on you and persecute you and prosecute you, delivering you up to the synagogue, delivering you up to the synagogue and into prisons and into prisons, being brought before kings, being brought before kings and rulers of my namesake and rulers for my namesake. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. The Bible says it shall turn unto you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, go ahead. Settle it therefore in your heart. Settle it therefore in your heart. Not to meditate before what you shall answer. Not to meditate before what you shall answer. Verse for 15. I, what did verse 15 say? I will give say? you a mouth and wisdom. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom. Which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Hallelujah. Yeah. For our situation to always turn to testimonies, we need to understand what has been given to us by God. Your mouth was not given to you only for food. Your mouth was not only given to you only to eat pizza. Oh, yeah. I know there are a lot of people that love pizza here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alle okay, some of them have said hallelujah. Your mouth was not given to you only to eat a bar and a mala. Your mouth was not given to you only to eat whatever you want to eat. One of the primary functions of your mouth is to use it properly so that you can achieve destiny. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your mouth is what determines where your destiny is headed. Whether it's going to gain motion or whether it's not going to gain motion. It is your mouth that determines it. Because the way we have been designed by God, it is only what we declare that is permitted to be delivered. The, it is, we saw it in that Genesis 1 that, I just, that we just read the other time. It is only what is declared that is permitted to be delivered. We cannot proclaim what we cannot claim. In the kingdom of God, nobody can proclaim what he or she cannot claim. Whatever we cannot say with our mouth, we cannot have it. Mm -hmm. Whatever we cannot declare, we cannot experience. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Psalm chapter 81, verse 10. Psalm 81, verse 10 to 14. I am the Lord thy God. I am the Lord thy God. Which brought thee out of the land of which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide. 
Open thy mouth wide. And I will fit it. And I will fill it. But my people. My people will not listen. Yes. And Israel would none of me. And Israel will none of me. So I gave up unto their own hearts. Because of they will not listen to use their mouth correctly, and they, I gave them up unto their own hearts. And they walked away in their own counsel. And counsels. they walk away in their own counsel. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me. How, how I wish my people had hearkened unto me. And Israel walked in my ways. And Israel had walked in the ways that I have asked them to do. I should soon have subdued their enemies. I would have subdued their enemies. And turned my hand against their and adversaries. And turned my hand against their adversary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God was talking here that the children of Israel were not talking properly. That they, they are not using their mouth aright. He said, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to declare before you can experience. You need to declare before you can experience. God is waiting for you and me to open our mouth. Why? To declare his words. The louder we proclaim our victory, the freer we become in life. The louder we proclaim our victory, the freer we become in this life. Job chapter 6 verse 25 says, How forcible are right words. How forcible. A right word. That was Job 6.25. How forcible. How good. How about your own? How about your own? How about your own? How about your own? Yes. 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 How forcible are right words. Yes. But what does your argument reprove? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We remember this story from the Bible when... Jesus Christ was doing a lot of crusade, was healing the sick and doing a lot of things, and the disciples were with him. Then in Mark chapter 11, verse from verse 14 to 20, we shouldn't read it, but we know the story very well. Jesus was hungry, and he saw a tree, and he wanted to take from that tree, but he didn't see any fruit on that tree. He, now, he was angry. He couldn't see fruit on this tree. And what did Jesus Christ say? He said in uh, verse, uh, between uh, Mark 11, 14 to 20, he said that no one eat from you thereof. That is the fig tree. He said no one. He, they were just talking. And Jesus was talking casually. The disciples were there. Walk on running. Jesus was talking casually. He said that casually. He said that can you can imagine a solar remo? Lori remo? Titi lie? I won't wear it. Yes, it's bonny battle, sir. One cock bo, bushy, sir. One then law. If battle dear jockey, one one or not to bow or not to bow or to buy be, it be tea, it give one want to buy becoja. By the time tea, one thing law, it come now, disciple, you call woe, it give any. Only pay again, it dry, they root. It give. Immediately, turn the back on one side of the lock. Or Roti Esolano. Oh, he gave a lot of dry word, the truth to you. Jesus now said something in Mark chapter 11, verse 23 to answer the disciples. Mark and Jesus 11, answer, 23. Right. And Jesus answered, Verily I say unto you, Verily I say unto you, Have for uh, that Mark, what Mark 11, 23. For verily I say unto you, for verily I say unto that whatsoever you, shall I say, that who, whosoever shall say, shall say unto this mountain, unto this mountain, be thou removed, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he hath he said shall come to pass. But shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he, he shall have whatsoever. He said, Hallelujah. He shall have. How did he say it? He said, Verily I say unto you, whosoever. He didn't say, Pastor. Lord, turn him away from you. Lord, turn him away from you. Any Kenny, tell about we for you. Okay, okay, so only any Kenny, Kony Alfao. He didn't say, Pastor. He didn't say, Shepherd. He didn't say this. He didn't say that. 
Any Kenny, whosoever. So, yes. if you okay, you pay. Toba soft, okay, you pay. She did. She did. She was the boss in your crew. She was the boss in your crew. She got us a she immediately or corner. She imagine your corner. She bought. So, back 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 way. To that back back way. So, we your share. You go to your share. Your rebel for Hallelujah. Jesus was teaching the disciples the kingdom principle that he used for the fig tree. Immediately he spoke to the fig tree, he did not doubt in his heart. And he just left his own. And the fig tree did what? Obey the voice of Jesus. Hallelujah. As Jesus Christ caused the fig tree, he said that as the Father has sent him, he has also sent us to do the same thing. Because we are created in the image and the likeness of the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there is nobody that will experience anything that you are afraid to declare. Anything that you are afraid to declare will never happen. In the kingdom of God, God is waiting for you. Some of us will take prayers to God to go and be praying. When God is waiting for you to say to the mountain. Jesus didn't say pray to me to cast the mountain. Is that what he said in Mark eleven twenty three? That Mark eleven twenty three. Jesus didn't say pray unto me, then I will help you say unto the mountain. Is that what we read in the Bible? He said whosoever shall say. He didn't say pray. Say whosoever shall say unto the mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. You shall have it if you have no doubt in your mouth. In your, in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what is it that makes our words considered powerful? What is it that makes the words of our mouth powerful? What is that thing that makes the words of our mouth powerful? We we'll look at three, then we call it a day. The number one reason why that word that you speak from your mouth is very powerful is that the word of your mouth is considered a seed. The word of my mouth, the word of your mouth is considered a seed. In the book of Luke chapter 8 verse 11, Jesus Christ said, the seed is the word. Now the parable is this. Yes. The seed is the word of God. Hallelujah. The seed is the word. So, which means every word that come out from our mouth, you know, is like we are sowing a seed onto the ground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what did Genesis 8.22 say? He said, for as this earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. Hallelujah. If we don't believe seed time and harvest, did we believe cold and heat? Is there anybody in Canada that does not believe in cold? No, it's the word of God that we are looking at. The word said, cold and eat shall not cease. Are we experiencing cold and eat in Canada? It said, summer and winter shall not cease. Have we experienced winter this year or not? Day and night shall not cease. Have we experienced day and night today? The same statement is where seed and harvest is also mentioned. The same statement, Genesis 8.22, seed and harvest, seed time and harvest shall not cease. So if you are experiencing day and night, cold and heat, everything you say with your mouth, you shall surely get harvest, whether you are conscious of it or not. Anytime you declare, ah, you have sown a seed into the ground, you may not know spiritually, because you are a spirit being. Remember, you are a spirit being living in a body and you have a soul. That is why we are three. We are, we are tripartite in nature. We are spirit being, we have a soul, and we live in a body. Hallelujah. Anytime you wrongly use your mouth, you have sown seed into the ground. Every word spoken is a seed sown into the ground. Every word spoken is a seed that has been sown into the ground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The seed that you plant today is what you're going to reap tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you say, I am broke, you will get it in harvest. Mm -hmm. You may be playing, you know, you may be serious. Oh, you know, the money is not there, but you are using your mouth. 
the money is not there, it's not a seed. But you using your mouth to say it is the seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Genesis 1 1, there was darkness. Huh? God saw darkness, but he uses his mouth to say light. He didn't say darkness. But we, ah, or in for me, ah, or in lagbara, don't for me by. Hallelujah. The moment you say it with your mouth, only in, oh, I'm but the, it's just waiting for you to use your mouth to confirm it so that it can become a seed into the ground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And every seed that is on the ground will be germinated and harvested. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, we need to be careful of what we say. Even in our church, never anybody says that, ah, Akere, don't, don't ever say it. Don't ever say it. Never say it. There is one man of God in the 80s, early 80s. If I mention his name now, he's a renowned man of God. In the 80s, when the church were five people, seven people, four people, and all of them seated in the front row like this, the man, we are not permitted. I'm not going to do like my friend, I told you, I won't come out now. You understand? So the man will go out and he will go to the entrance and he will be screaming. And he will be doing like this. God bless you. May God do. May God bless you. May God. He will be. He will leave the people in front here. He will go to the back, and he will start saying, "God bless you. God keep you. God." One day, the members of the church had to call him and ask him that, "Are you okay?" She goes, "Are you okay?" And Oti worry, sir. The man said, "I know what I'm saying." He said, the people that I am seeing, you are not seeing them. He said that in the kingdom of God, it is what you say that you will see. Even if you have five people, if you are talking as if you have thousands, it's thousands that you will see at the end of the day. This man today pastors one of the largest churches in the world. Top three churches in the world. This man I'm saying. And no matter... How big the cathedral, they built 50,000, they are building 100,000 now, there will always be people sitting outside. Because from the first day, he will always go outside and be speaking, and be speaking, and be speaking. Hallelujah. Also, let me share this uh, little story myself. I remember when we were in uh, Nigeria, in Lagos, uh, uh, working and, and so on. And we have this dream to come to Canada. We have this dream to come to Canada. What will I do? I, I was working in Victoria Island that time. I will purposely drive through the airport. Do you know, do you know that we have this toll gate at that Muritala airport? There's one toll gate there that you take to Ikeja. Instead of me, from VIO, instead of me to go somewhere else, I will purposely drive to that place. And when I get to that airport junction, I will speak to the airport. Very soon, I'm going to come to this place and do what? Board my flight. No, it's not Jakba. <laughs> I will come to this place and board my flight to Canada. Then I will drive and I will go away. Another day, I will come again to that same location. I will wind down the window. I will speak to the airport. Airport, hear my word. I will come to this place, uh, you know, do what, and go to Canada. The day that we were, no, not going away. <laughs> not Jaguar. <laughs> the day that that thing was happening, like this, somebody was now reminding me that, ah, you remember the way you always stay in this place and always say that this place, oh, this thing will happen. It's the same thing for everybody. It's because we don't know how powerful our words are. That is why some of the things that we are praying for, they will be delivered easily by declaration. By saying it. By declaring it. It will happen. May Almighty God help us in the name of Jesus. The number two reason why our words are so powerful is that your words are command to angels. Your words are commands to angels. Angels, as they, we have millions of angels. In fact, some people said billions of angels. Do you know that as powerful as they are, they are created to serve you. Angels are created to serve you. 
is in the Bible. In the book of Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14. Can the Bible so? Iwe eberu, ori kini, ese Are they not all ministering spirits? Are they not all ministry spirit? Sent forth to minister for them. Sent forth to minister for them. Who shall be heirs of salvation? Who shall be heirs of salvation? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Angels are spirit beings sent forth to minister to you and I. Angels are spirit beings. They are sent forth to minister to you and I. In we as we are as we are, we all have our angels following us up and down. If God opened our eyes to see the number of angels in this church today, maybe we will behave better. Maybe we will serve God more. If God can only open our eyes to see the number of angels that are sitting beside us in this service today. Hallelujah. We all have angels following us. And what is their function? Just talk. Let me go and carry it out. That is it. Oh. Anytime your angel is beside you, he is only waiting for you to say something and for him to go and do what? Carry it out. Whether good or bad. Whether good or bad. How do I know? Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 6. Ecclesiastes 5, 6. Tells us that... Suffer not thy mouth to suffer, cause... Suffer not thy mouth to cause... Thy flesh to sin. Thy flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel. Neither you say before the angel that it was an error. That what you have said was an error. Wherefore, wherefore should God be angry at thy voice? Should God be angry at thy voice? And destroy the work of thy hands. And destroy the work of thy hands. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Angels, they don't hear, they are like soldiers. We all know soldiers now. Soldiers only go, go in the corner, go, soldiers will go come. Soldiers, they, the way they are trained, they wait for instruction. Once they get instruction, they go out in troops and carry it out. That is the way military people are. That's the way they are trained. That's why there is high discipline in, in the military. The same thing to the angels. Whenever you say before the angel, he will go and make sure that he will go lower. Because God will go lower. So, he will go lower. So, he will go lower. And the Bible is saying here that after that, Tobat is certain, my father was of angel, and we are, my shame, Mr. Elomi, I saw a town, yeah, along Daddy Jim, because you got to move something that you have said. Angel will go out and carry it. If you say that, Aramio, yeah, Angel will do what? He will go and ensure that in Pekini, Arainio, yeah. If you say that in Pekini, ah, I will struggle gone, will struggle get the gun. I will struggle. Angel, I'm shaking I make sure I'm paying your yes, struggle, da da, because struggle will fair. Hallelujah. Because the angels, immediately you talk like this, they just go ahead and do it. They just go ahead and do it. Me, personally, if I'm in a place that they are saying something contrary, I will either say it in my mind or outside that minus me. Hallelujah. The reason is because when the angel has gone out to do it, he will not include me in what has been said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we need to be careful because your words are covenant light switch that turns on your angels. Your words, they are covenant switch. They are like light switch that turns on your angels. Whether you say it right, whether you didn't say it right. Whether you are joking, we just read it in Ecclesiastes just now, 5 6, that there is nothing like a joke before the angels. There is nothing like a joke. So, we, the children of God, we need to learn how to speak rightly, to speak the way God has created us. No matter what you are seeing around you, only what you desire is what you will say. Never say that you won't get it only. Never say it. But you have not used your mouth to say it. Instead of, yes, now, as long as you have not used your mouth to say it, 
Koti ton. The only time to have it done is when you now confirm it with your mouth. When you confirm things with your mouth, that is when it happens. That is when it happens. Ah, there, I remember this uh, man of God also sharing his story. He said when they were growing up, in the, as in when the church was, was growing up, when they want to pay salary, there will not be money. You will call the accountant. Pay the salary by 12 p.m. tomorrow. When there, is no, when there is no money in the account. And he has, many times the accountant will come back to him. Ah, so, shut up. <laughs> he said he will tell him, shut up. Never you tell me that Kosi, anytime I give you instruction, just say, yes, sir, I will take care of it. And, and go your way. Every time. But she saw salary in church. But she saw salary in church for the staff. Today, that church has over 50,000 staff. That same church that I'm talking about. When they started, there will not be money. The pastor will call the accountant, pay the salary by 3 p.m. on Friday. And that one will say, yes, sir. He's practicing spiritual principles. He said many times, immediately they do that, and without any doubt in their mind, if by me, 3 p.m., low so 2.58 p.m. And you can't have a wallet. See, no church here. I call and I call and I shall do that. I don't feel envelope. I don't know. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. Salary. But you change your name every month. Especially month you think about me. And not for all that is on. Miracle my share. Because of what? The man always declare. He's, you know, he's, because our words are creative. The word of God is creative. We are created in image and the likeness of God. So our words also are creative. So instead of using your, your words to damage and cause destruction on yourself, use it to create things for yourself and your family. As you do so, the Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. Every word you speak is a command to the angelic world. Remember, you are kings and priests, and you shall reign on the earth. We saw that in Revelation, in the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ has made you a king. Remember, nobody challenges the word of a king, spiritually. So, every word that you speak is a command to the angelic world, whether positive or negative. Psalm 103, verse 20, talking about the angels. Psalm 103, verse 20. We read this every, every, sun, every new moon service. Every new moon service, we read this. Psalm 103, 20. Bless the Lord, ye his angels. The angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments. They akin to the voice. Angels akin unto the voice. Voice. The church you watch why it's about to go to the church. The church is the church. Whatever you want to achieve in your life, if you are saying it properly, you are saying it with your mouth, and you don't doubt it, it will happen in your life. And that shall be so in the name of Jesus. Amen. The last, and I shall call it a day, is that your words commit God's integrity to perform. Your words commit God's integrity to perform. Isaiah chapter 44. Isaiah 44, verse 24 to 26. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Thy Redeemer. Thy Redeemer. And he that formed thee from the womb. And he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things. I am the Lord that maketh all things. That stretcheth forth the heavens alone. That stretcheth forth the heavens alone. That spreadeth abroad the earth by that myself. That spreadeth abroad the head by myself. Verse 25. That frustrated the tokens of the liars. That frustrated the tokens of the liars. And make it diviners mad. And make it diviners mad. That turneth wise men backwards. That turneth wise men backward. And make it their 
knowledge foolish. And make their knowledge foolish. Can you verse 26 is so. all? That confirmed the word of his servant. That confirmed the word of his servant. And performed the counsel of his messengers. That performed the counsel of his messengers. That said to Jerusalem. That said to Jerusalem. Thou shalt be inhabited. Thou shalt be inhabited. And to the city of Judea. And to the cities of Judea. Ye shall be built. Ye shall be built. And I will raise up the decayed places thereof. Hallelujah. Verse 26, only that confirmed the word of his servant. That confirmed it. God confirmed our word and performed our counsel. God is committed to perform whatsoever we confess. God, especially if it is in line with his word, God is committed to perform whatsoever we confess. Because whatsoever we confess, God's integrity is committed to bring them to pass. We saw this in the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 20. Mark, chapter 16, verse 20. And they went forth. They went forth. And preached everywhere. They were preaching everywhere. The Lord walking with them. The Lord was walking with them. And confirming the sign with signs. He was confirming their word. With signs. With signs. Following. Following. Amen. God was confirming their word with signs following. God was confirming their word with signs following. God is only waiting for you to speak, to speak into your destiny. God is waiting for you to speak into the life of your children. God is waiting for you to speak into the life of your family. God is waiting for you to speak into your career, into your life. And as you do so, the Lord will give you signs following in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word of God we speak determines the signs that you experience. The word of God that you and I speak is what determines the signs that we experience. Finally, in the book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 3, we are going to stand up very soon. Therefore, long time, therefore, I bold they speaking boldly in I the Lord. I bold they speaking boldly in the Lord. Which gave testimony unto the word of his grace. Which gave testimony unto the word of his grace. And granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. And granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. Hallelujah. He said they were speaking boldly in the Lord. He said the disciples were speaking boldly in the Lord. And as they were doing it, he said he was giving them testimony. And he was making signs and wonders to be done in their life. Signs and wonders will be done in our lives today in the name Amen. of Jesus. Whatever we say with our mouth, our seed sown into the ground, which will germinate. Whatever we say, command our angels. To perform. Whatever we say with our mouth, commit God's integrity to perform. Let us rise up. Let us stand on our feet. In 5 to 6. Or no. to pray right now and declare. Use your mouth to declare that everything that your heavenly father has not planted in your life that they should be uprooted right now. Say unto your mountains whatever is that problem, whatever is that challenges, whatever is that thing that you are going through, say with your mouth unto that problem that be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And make sure that you don't doubt in your heart because you shall have whatsoever that you say it. Begin to declare right now. What is that thing that you want? The Lord is here right now, listening to you, waiting for you. The, your angels are waiting for you to make that prophetic declaration. Declare. The Bible says, declare that thou mayest be justified with mouth. Confession is made unto salvation. 
we believe it into righteousness, and confession is made. Declare right now. Begin to declare. Declare what you want. God will make it to pass. We bring it to pass. The angels are here. They will deliver your, your counsel and your instruction. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Jehovah. Jesus Christ. Holy Michael. Almighty Father in heaven. We have listened to the word that you have for us today. Whatever we have declared with our mouth, let us see them with our eyes in the name of Jesus. Whatever that the Lord has not planted in our lives, let them be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray.